missed you all just the way you've missed your favorite village boy. You know what? I promised myself that when I hit a million YouTube subscribers, I'm definitely going to take one month break without being in front of the camera and I just did just that. You know what? The last time you saw a video on this channel was on 22nd December 2021 and here we are, 22nd January 2022. Happy New Year to each and everyone watching your favorite water Maya and you know what? 2021 was amazing but I promise you that 2022 will be extraordinary. I mean, you're going to see a new water Maya doing new things, bringing you new adventures and you'll be like, is that the boy we followed? since 2013 yo we have a million youtube family and trust me in 2022 we're doubling it let me tell you something 2021 was amazing i couldn't even believe the things that were happening to me in 2021 and i know that some of you were so happy for me listen i'm your one and only keep praying for me yeah i need those prayers i know that there are so many people that are saying stuff about what am i that sometimes when I hear it it shocks me because I don't even know myself so I mean if you've been praying for me for 30 minutes now increase your prayer to what one hour two hours because I need it now more than before I met incredible people in 2021 I met amazing entrepreneurs in 2021 I met amazing youtubers in 2021 and I believe that in 2022 i'll meet extraordinary youtubers extraordinary entrepreneurs i'm bringing new things that you have never seen before i'm declaring the year 2022 as the year of charity what do i mean by year of charity this youtube channel must be able to build schools this youtube channel must be able to build hospitals this youtube channel must be able to create jobs for people this youtube channel must be able to change and transform lives this is what i promised myself to use my youtube channel to do when i hit a million the million is here and it's time to change the narrative not just on the internet but in real life if i say 2021 was amazing this is what I mean. In 2021, I visited 10 good countries and out of the 10 countries, five were new countries and five were revisited. And out of the 10 countries that I visited, I created 125 videos. And out of the 125 videos, guess what? We gained 52 million views. And I actually started the year with 600,000 and we ended the year with 1 million subscribers. Yo, I'm super excited. This is the first video of the year. I'm gonna shout because one of my is overjoyed and I know that you are excited and happy for me. That's why I wish I can dance because can you believe it? 400,000 new subscribers joined the channel in a year. Nothing has ever happened to me. You changed my life, man. You have no idea. I wish I can cry. I wish I can dance. But all I wanna show you is that my 2021 was incredible, amazing. You know what, Steven, the best videographer in the whole world, give me an intro. Yeah. 
sent by my audience to come and give you a check of um, 50,000 Ghana CD. Wow! <laughs> oh no! You can't carry me! You can't carry me! <laughs> You smiling, right? Just the way a headless YouTuber will say. You know what? Let me give you a bit of recap of our 2021. I started my 2021 in the northern part of Nigeria. I actually went to the northern part of Nigeria because my friend was getting married. Majestic way, and they are going to show us how happy they are. Wait for the beach to go. Wait for the beach to go. Wait, I will tell you when to start dancing. for two days i was extremely scared because we all know what the world has been saying about northern nigeria and when i got there instead of spending two days i decided to spend the entire three weeks in the northern nigeria i met incredible people in there especially halima her smile alone is priceless and her video inspired so many people that i found myself in south sudan and people were still talking about halima i think most of you also fell in love with halima asking me is halima single yeah i don't even know about that but hey in 2021 i promised myself that if i ever achieve the milestone of hitting a million i'm gonna summit kilimanjaro and i did it wait for the video and one thing that i know most of you don't know that I actually did on Kilimanjaro was proposing to my girlfriend. Right now, I'm no longer Wadamaya. Is she fiancé Wadamaya or fiancé Wadamaya? Whatever you're going to take it, have it like that. But don't tell anybody that I told you that right now, Miss Trudy is engaged. Yeah, I mean, she's mine forever. Yeah, you know, don't tell anybody that I told you. Please keep it a secret. Let this be between you and I. Yeah, okay. Thank you. In 2022, we stay in fit and healthy. And because of this, I decided to start a new YouTube channel called Maya Fitness or the Maya blah, blah, blah. I don't even know. Help me with the name that you think we need to call this channel. Yeah, because I just wanted to rest, refresh and restart. And you know what? I got my coach here. Yeah. Can, you, can you beat me up? Sure. Let's hope. Um, we like, go for 20. Let's go. Press. 20 reps. Come on. We do this. <laughs> 2020, 20, you continue. 20, ah, yeah. So, hey, can we get 10,000 subscribers on the new YouTube channel? Thank you. But hey, his name is Lois Fitness. Yeah. He's my personal trainer. Subscribe to his YouTube channel. And you know, on this YouTube channel, we're gonna travel across Africa and work out together. This year, we're staying fit and healthy. Fit and if you're watching this video, you probably think that in 2021, what am I just had everything amazing, easy, and smooth. No, it wasn't. I had my ups and downs. I had my good times and bad times. But I'm a positive person, so I always choose the good over the bad. But today, let me tell you some of my most challenging trips in Africa. Top three. I think I had one of the worst times in Somalia. I was detained for nine good hours at the airport. When I landed, my passport was seized. Not just passport being seized. Before we entered the country, 
immigration and national security started fighting whilst we were at the airport can you believe it i mean i couldn't believe what was happening all we did was to sneak into the country thanks to guinea for providing us security and everything that we need in Somali to make our trip easier. A big shout out to Mokita for being hospitable and showing us around and making things easy for us in Somalia. I think um, being in Somalia was one of my best moments even though I struggled to enter the country. Second country that I really struggled was South Sudan. Even though my trip to South Sudan was sponsored, but it was not easy. Filming in South Sudan is the hardest thing I've ever done to the extent that I mean our cameras to enter the country We had to register it before we enter the country. I mean drones were not allowed So we had to hire a drone in um, um, South Sudan and could you believe that they were charging us a thousand dollars for one day for a drone? At the end of the day, I think I paid two hundred and fifty dollars a day and even though I had a drone I still couldn't use it because they're saying that so many part of the country filming is not allowed. But yet, South Sudan gave us most of our viewed video in 2021. And um, lastly, I would say Congo, even though most of you have not seen the video yet. But from visa, immigration, and even inside the country, I nearly got beaten for shooting the Pule Mayo video that went viral on Instagram. Pule, pule, pule! Pule, mayo! Hey! Pule, mayo! Yeah! Okay! I mean, I nearly got beaten, man. And I wish I can tell you what happened to my Congo footages, but I'm not gonna say that now. I will let you know what happened to me in future. Stay tuned. I'm still gonna upload videos from Congo. Let's forget about the challenges. I filmed so many amazing episodes in 2021. <laughs> But I would say that one of my favorite videos in 2021 was the one that I interviewed my mom. Uh, do, do you realize that you've raised a legend? Oh, and you're in the line. That's deep. Every country means a lot to me. I love my time in every country. But you know what? Always one country stands out. And that country that stands out in 2021 is Namibia. I really loved Namibia. Why do I love Namibia so much? I think it's one of the most organized countries I've ever been. One of the cleanest countries that I've ever been. The country with the best roads in Africa. The country with amazing and beautiful people. In fact, the time that I spent with its woven. Well, when you come into our household, if you are one or two, then we slaughter chicken. But if you are more, then we have to go to the goat kraal and you have to choose a goat huh you have to catch the <laughs> myself <laughs> okay so yes identify that one this white one this white one yes that one so you need to make sure you catch that one you need to make sure uh, you catch that so, one yo i'm so sorry that i have to do this to you uh -huh. like I, I, I love animals so much uh -huh. that's the one you must catch was just amazing just to tell you that Namibia is not all about Vinduk which is extremely beautiful or the coast which I loved it so much but even in the villages of Namibia the people are extremely nice and it's the best time that I had in Namibia safest country I mean Africa is safe to travel but one country that shocked me I know I know that a lot of people are going to be mad at me for calling this place a country because it's not recognized was Somaliland I couldn't believe what I saw 
in that country. Welcome to Somaliland, one of the safest and most peaceful regions in all of the Horn of Africa. Somaliland is so safe, like this guy, this is the currency exchange, this is his money, he just oh, covered Maya, it up. Oh, Maya. I, 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 I'm very famous man. Oh, I'm great, come on. I'm sorry, you watch your blog. I'm great. I'm fine, brother. Oh. I know you, brother. How are you? I'm great. Please. I'm fine. <laughs> I know this guy. Very famous. <laughs> How are you, brother? How are you, man? Yeah. 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 Oh, my goodness, like what? <laughs> I did not no, know. I'm from Somalia. Thank it's a very you. peaceful country. Thank you. Very peaceful. Somalia is very peaceful. Tell them that it's very uh, peaceful. They don't know. People to come to visit Somalia because Somalia is a very peaceful country. Nice. Uh, you can see money everywhere. This is our money, eh? yeah? This is our currency exchange. He just went to pray, covered it up, and came back. That's how safe it is here. Imagine. He, he left the money just to go and pray and come back. And no yeah. one touched no your money. Touch <laughs> are, you, are you sure? No one touched the money. <laughs> You see, one of my favorite things about Somaliland is the trust and honesty in our people. These women are sitting on the side of a street, on a front-facing street, with their gold on display in a case, and when it comes time for prayer, they will just walk away and come back, and no one will have taken their gold. That's the kind of love and trust we have in our people here in Somaliland. The safety levels are nothing to be considered when you think about it this way. When you see men and women on the streets with bundles of money and pockets of gold, Africans are hospitable in general, we are super friendly people and every country that I went to in Africa, the people showed me nothing but pure love. I mean, when I go to Congo, I feel like I'm in Ghana. When I saw myself in Rwanda, I felt like I was in Ghana. But most hospitable people that I met in 2021, number one, will go to Samia Hashi and the mom. The time that I went to Somaliland, they were literally fasting. But fasting never stopped them for showing love to me. To, to the extent of getting me a place to stay, driving me around the entire time that I spent in Somaliland. Yo, I mean, even after fasting, they still want to cook for me. You know that the way to a man's heart is his stomach. And they really entered my heart through my stomach. Thank you so much for the love and support that you showed me. Um, and uh, you all should go check out their YouTube channel. It's called the Somaliland tourist yeah secondly i'll go for my one and only mama mama Della. oh my goodness like yo you guys have no idea how amazing this woman is I, I don't even know what to tell you about this amazing woman i had a bad time in congo but she switched the bad time into the best time in congo i think she's an angel that god sent to come and take care of me in congo because in a week in congo i was like god why are you doing this to me? We crashed our drone. I mean, immigration. All the stuff that happened to us, Mama Dala just showed up and changed everything. She took care of us in terms of accommodation, transportation, even went to do shopping and put it in our room. This is a woman that I've never met anywhere. She just watched what Maya and literally, I didn't even know that I have so many mothers out there. Say, yo, if you are my mom and I've never met you, please leave a comment. Your son is right here, accept me. Accept me, yo. Your one and only son. My uncles, my daddies, my grandmothers, my grand aunties, all of you. See, that's why I'm saying that you can't hate on me because all these mothers of mine are praying for me every single day. Thank you so much, Mama Dala, for the love and support here. Yeah? And um, the final one goes to Febronia, our country manager in um, Namibia. You took care of us, you drove us around. You were supposed to go to school. You didn't go to school for two weeks. Drove us around, even though I think you're a bad driver, by the way. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, seeing a woman driving us was incredible, man. And um, Nelson from South Sudan, he's super crazy, but he was an amazing tour guide. Man, I wouldn't say he's a tour guide, but everything that we did in South Sudan was made possible by Nelson. Thank you so much, Nelson. And um, yeah, Kimi. I forgot to mention your name, but as soon as I mentioned Febronia, I know that Kimi's name should be there. Go check out Kimi's YouTube channel. Thank you. 2021 was a great year, and I really had a lot of fun, yeah? I mean, surprising my girlfriend in Kenya was one of the best moments, because you guys have no idea how she treated me that night. Tonight's gonna be a good night. You get it? Okay. If you don't get it, forget about it. Uh -huh.
yeah i mean that is not a moment that i'm talking about but the best moment on youtube in 2021 was when i met the man behind innocent motors oh my goodness like i met incredible entrepreneurs in 2021 both old and young ones but this man first of all i never expect to see him that moment but when i met him he came down to my level to the extent that he even told me that this man <laughs> you're too much yeah. chief okay you're good i like to be seeing you every day uh, really yes i'll have your number i'll come around and visit no problem and not just that he even sat down with me in his room just to eat with me this man doesn't like this food no <laughs> <laughs> Are you enjoying the food? No, like, I'm really enjoying the food. I'm waiting but for you. Let me to the standard I have eaten before I continue. <laughs> and that's when I believe this African proverb that a child that knows how to wash his hand, he eats with kings. Be humble, do whatever you're doing, and trust me, you'll meet people that you don't expect to meet. I I've met so many people that I never imagine that in 100 years of my lifetime I will ever meet. So I believe that that was one of my best moment in 2021. Secondly, I went to Port Harcourt, the city of drama. I met so many amazing dramatic YouTubers, Uche and Uche squad. But one thing that I did that so today it feels so emotional anytime I watched that video was bringing my two friends together, Diana, and Nello Okeke. So yeah, I want to say thank you so much. Can I get a, a hug or anything? Emma, two two hugs. Ah, oh, you're not hugging me. Oh wow! I thought it's the year of hug. Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys are still creating videos together. I love you girls and um, yeah, keep making Africa proud and keep representing Port Harcourt and Nigeria to the world. The third one, I would say that when I started making the tribe videos, I was scared of doing such videos because that was my first ever video. But believe me, I was born in a village and whenever I find myself in such places, I could relate to them. And it was the best time ever. It made me feel like, be grateful whatever you have in life because people just survive on things that you don't even think that people can survive on this is one of the lessons that i learned whenever when i found myself at the mundari camp and when i went to namibia my time with the himba tribe <laughs> When I thought I'm having the best time of my life with the Himba tribe. The internet was on fire. YouTubers that I adore and watch were busy calling me fake Pan-Africanist. And because of this, a lot of people insulted me. A lot of people even threatened me. People unsubscribed to my channel just because of what other YouTubers are saying. And believe me or not, I know nothing about what they were talking about. Sometimes it hurts, but what will I do? I found myself on the internet so everybody can just wake up and say whatever they want to say. But in 2022, we are not gonna do that anymore because I found myself a lawyer and I declare 2022 as what? The year of charity. So anytime you have something to say, make sure you have a proof because if you don't have a proof, I'm gonna cash out and I'm gonna give that money to charity. I don't need your money. I don't want to use your money for anything, but I think people at the orphanage needs that money. See, there are YouTubers that I personally hold their hands to teach them how to create content. Today, they are anti water Maya. I see all of you, but let me tell you something. I'm not a YouTuber. I'm a messenger from God, man. 
I'm just doing my job. I mean, as soon as I'm done, I'm out. Don't hate me because if you hate me, you're hating on God. Believe me or not, I've never said this on camera before, but I'm telling you today. So be warned. Thank you. 2021 was amazing and I achieved a lot in 2021. The first thing that I actually achieved in 2021 was a gift of life, man. And having the strength to travel from one country to another. Thank you, God. I appreciate the gift of life, man. And I don't take it for granted. But yeah, I mean, some of the things that we're able to do with this YouTube channel was taking 120 kids to school. I mean, they used to be on the street, but now they are in school just because of you. But in 2022, we are doing it better and bigger. What else did we do? There was a man who was transforming a refuse dump into a beautiful park that people can go and play. You know what? This YouTube channel gave him what? $10,000. And I believe that this year, we're not gonna just donate $10,000. We are gonna donate $20,000. 40,000, 80, and $100,000. If you believe it, say amen. Thank you. Personal achievement was starting my own real estate company. And thanks to all the entrepreneurs that I met this year who inspired me to go on this journey. It's not an easy journey. As I stand here, I'm so broke. You see, my slippers used to be black. Now I'm wearing a blue slippers. This one is cheaper. The one that I used to wear is so expensive. It's because I decided to become an entrepreneur, man. I don't have money anymore. Lastly, hitting 1 million YouTube subscribers. Yo, this is a milestone that I never thought I would be there anytime soon. But I want to encourage every African YouTuber that is watching me that it's possible. Okay, just set your mind on it go for it stay consistent have patience and sit down and watch your growth but don't forget that seek on god because you have strength but if god does not come in you won't be able to go wherever you want to go to my name is still watermaya 2022 i have nothing to tell you but expect the best i love you all keep on supporting the annoying village boy i'm still the same guy even though i reach a million we are gonna do big things with this youtube channel i told you earlier we're gonna build schools build hospitals do so many things in this year and we set up a gofundme page during one Khalid. she's gonna be our financial advisor every money that you're gonna donate she'll be there to give us an account on how much money we've uh, been able to accumulate what else do i need to tell you nothing let me know your favorite video in 2021 let me know what you want me to change in 2021 let me know what you want to see in 2021 because we are doing this with you we are ending this year with what two million youtube subscribers all i want to tell you guys that i love you you are the best and see you in the next one